It's a horror in New York City today, not with a gun, but with a car. A man goes on a violent and it turns out deadly rampage with a U-Haul truck. Crews tonight towing away that truck that caused so much chaos and bloodshed in Brooklyn. Tonight, several new developments to tell you about, including late this evening when one of the victims hit by that truck died. We're also hearing terrifying stories from people hit by the car and who know the victims who are still in the hospital tonight. We have two reports. Sonia Rincon has more on the victims, but we're going to begin with Iowa News reporter Jim Dolan. He's live in Bay Ridge. Jim. Bill Wangsor begged police to kill him today. He told them he wanted to die, he intended to die, and police did try to capture him during his 40-minute rampage through the streets, through the sidewalks of Bay Ridge. In the carnage he left behind, one person is dead. Eight others were injured. It was half a mile of madness in Brooklyn today. I just saw this whoosh, and I saw this man on a motorcycle probably delivering something just being mowed down a rented u-haul van jumping sidewalks with people diving for safety he was very shocked because he said if he didn't jump too fast like that he would be underneath the truck now only i see the car coming they very 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 fast and they come the police behind you the car but the police were right behind him yeah Watch again as the van hits the bike rider first in the street, then jumps the curb and drives on the sidewalk, the police right on his tail. I saw a, a U-Haul veer toward uh, the left onto the sidewalk, plowing anything in its way. It was just chaos. Ms. Lee had just taken her 15 preschool students for a walk on that same sidewalk. And there was like 15 children. We just took a community walk. And then when they came back, and I think around 11, it happened. We all kind of traumatized by that because so close, so it close, so scary. It was, it was. Moments later, that van crashed into another bike rider, and the driver backed up and kept on driving. One person was killed. Eight more were injured, including a police officer. Police surrounded the van just as it was about to enter the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel and arrested 62-year-old Wang Soar who police say is homeless and had been living in the van he rented in West Palm Beach, Florida on February 1st. At this time, we have no indication that there is any terrorism involvement in this incident. However, as always, we will continue to investigate this incident with the full resources of the NYPD and our partners. I thought it was an action film. I never saw anything like that in my entire life. Sor is in custody now. We know that he lived in Nevada for a while where he did have a criminal history, a violent criminal history, was arrested there once for battery, but the charges will be far more serious against him tonight. Reporting live from Bay Ridge, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Well, Jim, thank you for that. We have a couple more little items to tell you about Mr. Sor. Uh, who is under arrest. He was a former Las Vegas resident, as Jim said, who's been in Brooklyn since 2018. In July of 2019, New York cops say they found him acting irrationally in Queens, jumping in the street and yelling at cars. We're also hearing more from the victims tonight. I would just use reporter Sonia Vercone with that part of our coverage live outside NYU Langone Hospital in Sunset Park. Sonia? Sade, we just heard from a family friend of one of those victims that the mayor quietly paid a visit here tonight to those recovering here from the U-Haul rampage, including, uh, well, we know that this is where six of the victims were brought late this morning and including two who were left with critical injuries. And of course, we now know that one of those victims did not make it. Police say he was a 44-year-old man. We spoke with family and friends of a 36-year-old father of two who has a long road ahead. He, he's uh, a severely like injured, a lot of broken bones. He's, um, he's fighting for his life, basically. Friends and family of 36-year-old Mohammed S. have been comforting his wife, who shared this photo tonight. Seeing and looking at them in the bed with all this sedation and all the vent and all those IV and looking all this beep going up and down. They say he was headed from 5th to 3rd Avenue, running an errand when he was mowed down by the speeding U-Haul, and they have so many questions as to why a driver would do this. 
this. Was this on his mind? Was it planned or did it just happen suddenly? What triggered the driver to run the sidewalk? The investigations continue at multiple locations tonight in Bay Ridge, like at Fifth Avenue and Senator Street, where 30 year old Eber Coy was struck while on his bike, also running an errand before heading to work. No hemos venido a buscar problemas, sino que hemos venido. His brother Eddie says he and his brothers from Guatemala are hardworking, not looking for trouble, barely getting by. And now his brother's leg is broken in two places. ¿Y quién lo va a cubrir si nosotros acá? He says this is going to be financially devastating since his brother will have a long recovery and need a new bike. 38 year old Yi Chung He says she'll also need a new bike. The e bike took most of the impact that sent the basket into the street at Bay Ridge and Fort Hamilton Parkways. That scene shut down for hours while she was released quickly with a minor foot injury. Still not sure what happened. The car just hit me. Yeah, crazy. It's very quick and I think this and I only seen that on the movie. <laughs> Something out of the movies is what witnesses all along the way described as the U-Haul and its driver would finally be stopped in Red Hook. Again, a total of nine victims of this rampage, one who did not make it, eight who are still recovering, including a police officer, and all of their loved ones are still trying to make sense of it all tonight.